Hello, it's your friendly neighborhood host, J.T. Wheatley, back again for another episode of the History of Comics podcast. This time with another edition of the Classics with uh, Facts from Sarajevo by Joe Cooper. This is, like, this is a now classic graphic novel released by uh, Joe Cooper back in 1996 where he actually t- recounts the true story of his friend and uh, fellow uh, comic book colleague Aaron, Eric uh, Rustmagic, who uh, his family was, ended up being stranded in, in Sarajevo during the Bosnian War. And that they're that the trials is trying to survive during one one of the most brutal civil wars in recent history. Cooper drew a combination of telling true stories about what Russ Magic had to go through, from trying to get his family's uh, passports uh, delivered to driving to a city where he's being sniped at, with the only thing to protect him is a car padded with comic books he used to collect. Is a truly uh, harrowing tale with some beautiful, gritty art and uh, just a, a sense of true realism to it. To truly show that Kubrick, even in his later years, was a true, still a master in the field of both storytelling and the ability to just tell these really stuff. And of course, his art at this point had really matured to like, there's a real grittiness to it. To, so when you see the, the, the tragedy of Sarajevo and the concentration camps and so forth, it, it truly does, does hit you. And the rest of the tale is both well, it's both a tragic tale of seeing how the city, this once a thriving metropolis, just falls apart in civil war. It's also, in many ways, uplifting of how they're able to survive and just make it out and uh, ultimately be, become a family again. So, yeah, this in many ways is a true clash by any measure, and uh, it's arguably Joe Cooper's greatest work, and it's, especially is how real it is. So, any place you can get this, uh, pick it up. Uh, facts material about Joe Kubert. That, yeah, by any measure, is a true classic. And now it's February 11th, 2021. Time for the favorite comic book of the week. Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood by various artists such as uh, Joe and Ridley and uh, Chris Bakula, which tells another trio of stories. It finds Wolverine going everywhere from uh, having to rescue his foster daughter, Amiko, to getting into a bar fight with Juggernaut and with the help of the Ghost Rider. This is, once again, another fun trio of stories that gets to the heart of Wolverine and everything else is about. The best one being uh, the, the opening story, 32 Warriors and a Broken Heart by John Ridley and George Fernandez, which find Wolverine in his right, late uh, love of his life while uh, Mariko teaming up to rescue their foster daughter Amiko with a nice twist at the end that uh, really does address how Wolverine gets distracted sometimes about what's really important in life. All in all, yeah, with the, since the X-Men comics, though, they're doing, John Hickman's doing some really exciting work with uh, the, the, the crazy stuff they're doing with the whole Kratoa storyline and so forth. They are a bit heady at times, so this, this series right here, Wolverine, Black, White, and Red, is, is, gets back nice Chris Wolverine stories of him kicking some butt. And of course, the art is fantastic because uh, you just have uh, black and white with uh, that bloody red. But uh, and there's those nice such as two, such as in the middle story, Burn, where he gets into a fight with a uh, juggernaut. Juggernaut is also depicted in his red coloring as well. So, yes, uh, if you're looking for a fun comic book to read, the Wolverine, Black, White, and, and uh, Blood is a great read. And, of course, if you're near your comic book store, be sure to check out the Facts from Sarajevo by Joe Kubert, because that is a true classic. <laughs> <laughs> 